What's up everybody? Today we're going to review the best basketball shoe I've ever tested and for me it was way over 10 low. Let's get straight into it starting with traction performance. So as you can see it's a very aggressive looking kind of herringbone type of pattern. Um, you can also see there's a little bit of dust stuck in between um, the pattern. That's because I used them on a pretty dusty court. I used them on our national team uh, court. That court was just laid out couple of days before we practiced on that and it was very dusty because the workers walked on there and worked on there with their street shoes so there was a lot of dust and everybody was sliding around like crazy uh, the first practice before it got cleaned um, apart from me luckily I was still doing great there was some uh, situations where I was sliding but that's inevitable if the court is so dusty um, but still if you wipe a lot on dusty courts the way of weight 10 will still do great job of providing good traction performance. Moving on to the cushioning setup, um, the way of weight 10, the lows and the highs uh, use full length boom cushioning, which is way of weight's uh, special trademark cushioning. It's the most premium they, ha they have. And it's amazing. In my opinion, it's the best cushioning setup out there. It's a perfect mix of court feel in the forefoot and impact protection in the heel while also still not being too high off the, ground, off the ground in the heel area and not too low to the ground, if you know what I mean, in the forefoot. A lot of times um, shoes don't have enough cushioning in the forefoot for players that play a lot on their forefoot. That's still important if you sprint a lot, if you run a lot, if you jump a lot. It's very important to still have a little bit of impact protection in the forefoot as well. And the boom cushioning, in my opinion, does a perfect job of that. Next up, support and stability and the favorite aspect for me of the shoe in general and also of the support category is the full length carbon fiber shank plate it's one of a kind it's the only shoe in the market that has that and what makes it so nice is first of all the heel to toe transition is amazing there's no forfeit flex it's really hard to bend them but of course if i use my whole body weight i'm able to bend them and i'm able to get a lot of extra spring out of them out of that carbon fiber plate it's also great for jumping, so if you need a shoe that adds a few inches to your vertical, I can also recommend them. And the carbon fiber plate is also great for lateral stability. So here the shoe, you can move it a little bit, which is fine, but the carbon fiber shank plate in combination with the lacing system really keep your foot locked in place. And there's also a TPU heel counter, an internal one. Um, you can't see it, but you can feel it. So your heel is also locked in and in general, it's one of the best lockdown shoes on the market. And last but not least, the materials. Um, they're probably the least special feature of the shoe, if that makes sense, but they're still very good. Um, just some synthetic uh, fuse overlays, some lever parts here on the side, um, a plastic TPU frame here. And overall, very light, very breathable as well, which is important and comfortable as well. It's, there's nothing that you don't need here. It's just overall everything you need and nothing more. And that's the perfect way for a basketball shoe in my opinion that's just how I like it um, towards the end a small difference if you're debating if you want to get the highs or the lows in my opinion performance was identical and it also should be at least that's what way of weight says as well the only difference I could notice was here in the tongue area um, on the high version the padding stops around here and uh, there's no padding in the, four, uh, in the forefoot part of the tongue and here on the low the padding really goes all the way down here um, which is very comfortable, but there's a little bit less space in the shoe. So if you're wearing ankle braces or if you play with tape, um, just keep that in mind. Or if you've got double socks or something, just keep that in mind that there might be a little bit less space. So in the end, to summarize, this is by far the best basketball shoe. I know that they're expensive, but in my opinion, they are worth the money. The low version comes in at $200, which is the same as the LeBron 20. And in my opinion, they perform better. So. If you have that type of money, I can highly recommend them and stay tuned for more performance reviews. I'll also put a link into the description where you can buy these. I recommend buying them only on the official Way of Weight website, as that is the safest place to get them. And there are also restocks a lot of times. So overall, again, thank you for watching. And this is the best basketball shoe I've ever tested.